Hey, it's Antti. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how I'm using Adobe Stock inside of Photoshop. So let's check it out. Another beautiful sunny wintry morning here in Finland. I will show you actually what it looks like on the other side of the window because I mean we have some snow still. I don't I don't even think that spring is going to come. So I'm uh, I will I will show you. So That's my view from the window. So as you can see there's some snow. I really hope that spring will start coming and all that snow will be gone and I will get my barbecue up there and oh. um, so as I said I'm uh, today we're gonna check out how I'm using Adobe Stock inside, inside of uh, Photoshop because uh, when I'm doing my composite images I, I use of course a lot of stock images in my pictures and when I'm doing my backgrounds um, uh, when I'm using Adobe Stock I can use it straight inside of Photoshop and I don't have to switch into the uh, website and search for images from there so I can basically work inside of Photoshop so I'm gonna show you how you can do that uh, actually there's a lot of people that doesn't even know that you can do this in, um, in inside of uh, inside of Photoshop so I think hopefully this will be a good good kind of a small video about that so let's go into the Photoshop and I will show you how you can do your magic inside of Photoshop with using Adobe Stock. Alrighty, here we are in Photoshop, so let's start doing stuff. Um, so I have already in my side panel here a button called Libraries, but if you don't have it, here go the window and go the Libraries, so that will open up your Libraries panel. Uh, you can make your own folders here, so let's make a new library for this this project we are doing so let's do a demo let's create that and so so you can start looking for your assets for your work from here so let's first so i, I will just kind of show you how i work so i'm i might be do a, a background for my image so i would start searching for maybe a landscape so you will get straight results from Adobe Stock. You can choose photos or illustration. So let's choose only the photos. So I will choose maybe, let's see. Let's choose something, premium images. Um, you will get a range of images, maybe around 50 first images. Um, from here and you will see already what images you have licensed for in the full resolution uh, so if the only thing that i would like uh, adobe adobe listening to me uh, this um i would like to add that there would be a button that sh show me next 50 results so uh, if i don't get a hit in a way in the first 50 images i need to go or the web pages to look for more. So I would like to stay inside of this um, Photoshop so I don't need to. So um, I don't get, I didn't get that kind of image that I was looking for. So landscape, maybe valet. So I would be looking for like a valley shot. Okay. Uh, Maybe I will start building. Okay, let's just start from somewhere. So you'll get the idea anyways. So you can just drag the image in, in the uh, template work area here and then um, scale it maybe to fit. Of course, it has a watermark in it, but I will explain what happens after, after that. So there's our, in a way, the first image. Uh, so then of course because i use plenty of other images in my pictures so you'll research because my pictures kind of are formed from different images so you could use maybe i will use that image as a part of course they are different color 
uh, color seam. But the only thing that you have to make sure when you're doing these kind of images, where is your horizon? I'm educating all these best practices in my digital artist masterclass workshop, so be sure to check that out, aliasedu.com, so you'll get all the best practices for doing composite images. But I'll just roughly kind of explain, so all the horizons kind of in a way have to match. So I would might use from this image maybe that kind of a part. I'm just doing a random kind of a scenery here. And still I can mask it out the way ever I want. Maybe it fits, maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Uh, I, when I'm, I think when I do the saturation stuff, I think that might blend nicely into the image. We will see. So of course I would do a more precise masking, but here you can see I've already changed that image to look like that. So this is how I kind of develop my scenery in my pictures. So let's make another one, cast castle for example, and I'm pretty sure that I have already some of those castles here. Um, yes, let's put that in there too, maybe. I'll do a really quick masking on the outer side of that. So I will just choose that. And in this picture the horizon is low over here, so it has to kind of line up also the, our horizon and then we'll do a bit of a more, more masking on that. So as you can see, I'm already kind of created a landscape with the castle and, and you know, you can do whatever. Uh, after I've done this, I would do uh, my color matching for these. Um, you can check the video for that over there or here. Uh, I would match the saturation, contrast and so on. But the, when, when I'm happy with my image, I have all the elements, I have all these Adobe stock logos here as you can see and they are not high resolution images so I can do basically all my layout stuff inside of Photoshop now and and I can kind of send this image to if I, if, if this is a commercial project I can send it uh, to my client to review and I can leave all the logos attached because I don't need to um, yet uh, license the image but when I'm happy with my project that I need okay this is the stuff that I, I, I definitely need for my image then I can go on and and just for example the valley image I can just go right click and license image and it will use one of my uh, stock credits like that it starts to download, downloading the image from online and the logo disappears and now I have a full, resolu full resolution image. The same thing with this one, Colorado image, license image. Okay, and it downloads it straight from Adobe Stock, licenses it and then delivers me the full resolution image to here. So I can do ba basically all the modifications to my image. I can see boop. I can do all the modifications to my image in this preview um, uh, format. Then I can license them to be for full resolution. Only thing that I can cannot do in a way, uh, I cannot make them in a way pixel based editing. So if I want to stamp out um, the image in the preview, it doesn't affect, but all these adjustment layers and all these uh, that I have done uh, scaling and tweaking and rotating, they will be attached so I can work like this and then just license all these images whenever I need. Here's a quick tip, go and register to Adobe Stock. I think you'll get um, 10 when you register 10 free uh, tryout images. Uh, if you're using Adobe stock images, or if, you, if you're using stock images, I would re definitely recommend you using uh, Adobe stock. I've been working with Adobe stock for, for some time, and I, I think it's a so 
for me it's a so faster process to use Adobe Stock inside of straight from my Photoshop. So that is a big plus and as I said Adobe if you are watching this video next update I would like to see here when I'm, when I'm searching my images show me next 50 or show me next images. I would love that so I don't need to jump into the web pages and search for continue my searching from there. So hopefully, hopefully uh, you like this video and as I said uh, I use some of my best practice composite uh, image techniques also here in my demonstration. If you want to check out my workshop, uh, online workshop that is called Digital Artist Masterclass, go to this address here and check out that um, uh, you will get all the information what is my workshop all about. It's basically a workshop from all the develop how to de develop creativity to all my retouching uh, portrait and composite image uh, techniques, uh, content, how I create content, how you get exposure, uh, marketing, networking, uh, there's a photo shoot demonstration, how I light my images and all that good stuff, uh, over eight hours of material there. So, I mean, be sure to check it out. Um, it took quite a bit of a time to uh, achieve that online workshop and I would be really happy if I would grow the audience over there. There's some free content also on that website if you go, but there's a one color grading technique, you can check it out. So, this was this time, hopefully it was helpful for you guys, Adobe Stock Thumbs up, really cool place to get your stock images. And, and as always, I will see you on my next video. Cheers.